Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro, and today Apple has released iOS 15.2 Beta 2 to all developers today. Okay, about 700 megabytes on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. On my iPhone 12 Pro Max, and I installed it. Bill number is 90C5036E, and there are about four to five changes that I found in this update today. So let's get started. On settings, if you scroll down to podcasts, go down to the bottom, you'll notice that the privacy tabs for podcasts and privacy and reset identifier have now been changed to see how your data is managed in one press reset identifier button. In the tips app, you'll notice that previously when you see welcome to iPhone, it showed the model iPhone you had of the current phone, but now it's been updated for the iPhone 13. See, this is my iPhone 12 Pro Max and it shows the image of an iPhone 13. So now no matter which phone you have, it should show the iPhone 13 image. And let's go down to the bottom. If you have an Apple Watch 6 or newer paired, you'll get these cool new options for the Apple Watch for welcome to Apple Watch, what's new in Watch OS 8, customize, health and fitness, and beyond basics. So these will only appear if you have an Apple Watch connected to your iPhone. On the iPad, previously on iOS 14 down to iOS 5, we have this option for multitasking gestures to close out apps, swipe up to go to the app switcher, swipe between apps like this. But now, Apple's made a comeback and brought that back with gestures, which is down underneath the option for keyboard. So, some things are the same, like four, four and five finger swipe gestures are exactly the same, but got the new option for allow finger swipe from, from corner, left corner swipe, and right corner swipe. So now, some of you guys were asking me in my earlier videos how to turn off the quick note, but now you can. From left corner swipe, you turn it off, and right corner swipe. So when you turn both corner swipes off, you basically turn off the quick note. See, now I can no longer open quick note from the corner. So that's pretty much how you turn off quick note. But some gestures are still the same, like the clothing out app with five fingers. That's the same. Opening up apps from the app switcher, exactly the same. And going between app like this is exactly the same. So some gestures are the same, but you just got some brand new options. So interesting. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give this video a thumbs up. So I'll see you. Peace out.